Hello, hello, hello. I am author and entrepreneur, the cerebral palsy, vigilante, Zachary Fennell. And I'm actually feeling clean. I'm fresh out of the shower, a little more clothed than usual, directly out of the shower since I'm filming this video. But uh, today I wanted to take some time and kind of give you guys a look into my usual foot care routine that I do to help take care of my feet and uh, lessen the impact cerebral palsy has on them. So I'm about to switch the camera angle over so you'll be able to see my feet. So first things first, you'll see I'm sitting on the commode and what you can't see is underneath my feet right now I have the I have a towel and you'll see why in a second I am going to have this pumice stone here that I'm about to um, dampen in the sink one second So the pumice stone, but that I use that for to help soften the calluses I have on my feet. And I have these calluses from just the way I walk due to my cerebral palsy. And so on this foot, my right foot, I got it. Mainly they're under my uh, my little toe here, and uh, just dampen it with the sh the washcloth I use in the shower so the the cloth is dampened from the shower I just took I uh, wet the area and then I take the wet pumice stone and I just go at the callus to shave it and make it smaller this tool was something I was unaware about until I had my cousin who's a, a dietrist uh, Angela Grady, she had done my most recent inserts and she saw my calluses and goes, wow, like, people come in with a tenth of that and complain they can't walk. And she introduced me to the pumice stone and what it does is any of, uh, it helps, like I said, shave it down so the dead skin on, on this callus is being shaved off and I do, and you do, I do the, this whole routine pretty much after every time I shower. Uh, sometimes if I'm, if I'm in a rush, I don't have the time, that's what I'll cut out. But, alright, so, any skin shavings, I brush off my callus on my left foot is under, again under the pinky toe now use the washcloth same thing on this side keeping my foot over the towel so that any dead Skin that's coming off is flaking off and falling onto the towel. Uh, it helps clean up instead of having the like, dead skin cells everywhere. You get to have a nice clean area. So I have my foot the callus shaped down. Again, brush any kind of residue from the callus off. I take the towel now and I go over to the garbage can off screen and I shake off the dead skin into the garbage can. And then I'm going to put the towel back down because this is one of two things I do in my daily routine. Next up, take that washcloth again 
and this fungi PD fix fungi soap. I did a product recommendation on my blog, which I will leave a link to in my video's description here. And what I'll do is just squirt out some of it. Rub it into the washcloth. And then wash my feet. It's a lot easier. Like, honestly, before this, I did not wash my feet very, before I started using this product, I did not wash my feet very well because, you know, in the shower, bending down to try to get your feet, you can't exactly, with the balance issue, I can't really, in between the toes here. I'm going to get between the toes. I'm going to get between the toes. Um, all sides of my foot, the bottom of my foot, and like the I I described the feeling. I believe it was in the uh, product recommendation I wrote on my blog for this. I described the feeling as having your feet tingle with refreshment. I love like. I discovered this stuff last year and it really helps. I didn't even realize, but due to my CP, I just, and the way I walk and the extra stress I put on my feet, I have like sore and tired feet. And I didn't really realize that completely. And then when I started using a product similar to this, I do this now on my right foot. And when I started using a product similar to this it was just like like wow I didn't realize how bothered my feet I was with my feet I was just something I was used to and again making sure I get in between all my toes sides of my foot bottom of my foot and lay the washcloth to the side now take a towel pick that back up and now dry the foot making sure again I get in between the toes and the bottle it recommends making sure you get you dry everything including between the toes so I would make an effort that I get all of it and do that now with this side this foot feeling nice my feet are feeling nice and fresh now and so yeah that is my routine i wanted to show you that uh just so i figured someone else would see me maybe the pumice stone or the soap i use might benefit you for anyone else out there i just want to kind of give you that inside look into what having a Part of the maintenance of taking care of your CP is and uh, if you've enjoyed this video you consider subscribing to my channel like this video and then consider subscribing to my channel I put out new videos every week thanks for watching